Okay, gang, today we're going to review an old fitness idea, the concept that eating more protein will lead to you building more muscle. This idea has been around since the early days of fitness and bodybuilding and sport activity. The concept essentially is that the protein we eat leads to the muscles that we build. Well, they think that because muscle is literally made of the protein. That's right, protein is the building block of all the muscles throughout our body. So in theory, if we eat a lot more protein, we can go from looking like this guy to looking like that guy, which would be pretty cool. So the next question is, does this actually work? Well, one researcher decided to test this out. And what he did is he took two groups of athletes, one on low protein diets and one on moderate protein diets, to see who would do better. And those on moderate protein diets tended to build more muscle and perform better. That's pretty cool. This suggests that you need a little more protein if you want to build more muscle. So over the next 20 years, researchers tried lots of different protein protocols for muscle building, from low to moderate to high. And what they found is one gram per pound was about the sweet spot for muscle building. Any more than that didn't increase muscle mass, it simply increased body fat. But why is that? You would think if muscle is made from protein and you add more protein, you should build more muscle. Kind of like having a house and adding more bricks should lead to a bigger house. I mean, that just makes sense. But the body doesn't work that way. Having a lot of muscle costs a lot of energy. It's essentially raising the cost of your body to run itself. And your body doesn't like that. See, it doesn't care if you have muscles when you're at the beach. It simply worries about you breathing when you get there. You see, the body only builds enough muscle to do whatever activity you're forcing it to do. Think about the way your body handles other problems. For example, if you went for a long walk and you got a blister on the back of your heel, your body would respond to this by creating a pallet. So if you went for a long walk again, you wouldn't get the same blister. What the body would not do is callous your entire body just to deal with that one blister. Essentially, your body is only going to do what it has to to get by. So it's only going to build enough protein to get you through your next workout and no more, regardless of how much protein you eat. So the next question is, is there a downside to eating really high levels of protein? And there is. For one, it costs a lot. Protein food sources are generally more expensive than other food sources. The second thing is most high protein food sources are high in the bad fat, saturated fat, and they also tend to displace all the other foods. So if you're a high meat eater, you tend to not eat a lot of other foods like fruits and vegetables that also have health benefits for you. So the bottom line when it comes to getting fit and building muscle is that you one, need to train hard, two, eat healthy, and three, eat enough total calories to build muscle, and then finally, eat about a gram of protein per pound of body weight to optimize your ability to build muscle. All right, gang, that's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Created using Powtoon.